I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the 2020 October U.S. exam calculator section. College Board gives us a quadratic equation, and they ask, if this has no solution, what must be true about B? And for quadratics with no solution, we should remember the discriminant. AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. The values are x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. That's the quadratic formula, but we only need the expression under the square root. b squared minus 4ac. If that's greater than 0, two solutions. Because you get negative b plus that value and negative b minus that value, and that gives you two real solutions when you divide by 2a. If b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, then we get negative b plus 0 and negative b minus 0, both over 2a. And those are the same th thing, so you only have one solution. And if b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, you get no real solutions. And this is the case they're asking about in this question. Since a equals 3 and c equals 5, 4ac is 4 times 15 is 60. b squared minus 60 less than 0. Add 60 to both sides. And you get b squared less than 60 if there are no real solutions. That's choice A. College Board typically asks about solutions of quadratic equations, including the number of solutions where you may need to factor or use the quadratic formula or just the discriminant. So make sure you review those skills and come back soon for my next SAT video. With math, there's always more.